Hey, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. At Shaman Ralston, known as Dream Tree. How's everyone tonight? I'm doing pretty good. Um, it's not raining, it's not snowing, the temperature is actually tolerable. I might even be overdressed for this, I don't know. I, I guess what I wanted to talk to you real quick about, and I'll probably show you a little bit of video tomorrow from this area. I'll probably explore in the morning and show you some film, but you know, I've been thinking a lot about this. <clears throat> I don't know if you've heard of the concept of mud flood before. Um, the mud flood theory is the theory that approximately the year 1850, someone or something, or maybe a natural event even, either caused the entire globe to be flooded in mud or just parts of the world to be flooded in mud which decimated a large portion of the human population, at which point we were sort of in a rebuilding state where I don't know how they created children out of thin air, if they were pre-prepared for this and they already had human beings bred for, you know, to be, you know, children slaves for the cleanup or what. But evidence of this mud flood was attempted to be covered up and then they rebuilt society over it and kind of hijacked our history, rewrote it, and made it seem as if this mud flood never happened. But I've been watching lots of videos, looking at lots of photographs, doing some Google satellite stuff, and every day I see more and more evidence of this whole mud flood thing. So, I don't know, I, I, I guess I strongly recommend anyone and everyone to kind of look into that because... It's obvious that this isn't the first time they try to cover up our history. It's it's easy to see that they do try to cover up our history. Even on the basic school level, they try to cover up our history. I remember being in 10th grade history class, and a teacher of mine basically told me, well, skip over chapter 12 or 13 or whatever chapter it was. And I don't fly that way. If I'm told to skip something, I don't. So I ended up looking into that. And reading that chapter, I learned the history of the Federal Reserve, the implementation of ideas such as planned obsolescence, all the corrupt families who were behind the purchasing of the public school system, and things of that nature. So that's just a real small level of how some people go out of their way to cover up your true history. So... If they can cover it up in that way, then what else are they trying to cover up? So I highly recommend checking into it. There's lots of channels out there, um, lots of documentaries. And yeah, just have an open mind to it. Look into it and see what you think. See if you can find examples of this in your town, because there could be very well examples of this in your town. I know there's examples of this throughout my life, including um, my job at Union Station, which I thought... There is something off about that building. There is something off about the nature of the basement in relationship to how the rest of the building was. And, yeah, that being said, look into stuff. Quit, quit watching football all the time, playing video games all the time, and, you know, watching cartoons all the time. There's more stuff out there for us to do. And I have a feeling that once all of us are privy to these hidden histories, we can come to an understanding that'll hopefully lead us to a more prosperous future. So, uh, that being said, good night everyone, and I'll show you some weird shit around here tomorrow. Have a good one.